What's up, y'all? It's your boy, You Should Know One here, back with another episode. This episode, this episode, this video here, I'm going to be taking out the factory, the factory deck. This the factory cassette, the factory radio out of 94 Buick Roadmaster. I'm going to be putting in a new Pioneer CD player with the Bluetooth. Went to the pawn shop. Paid $90 for it at the pawn shop. Brand new in the box. Still in the box. But some people don't know how to put it in. So I'm going to show y'all a video how to put it in all by yourself. I took the dash apart. I got the dash up here. Took the dash apart. Just a couple screws. It was two screws up here. At the top up here. One right there. One on the other side. Over here. I took them out. A couple latches had to pull off the dash on that side. Every car is different. Some some cars have more screws. Some cars have more screws than others. But like this factory radio here, let me take this key out real quick. This factory radio here, it's got one screw here. I'm gonna have to take this out to take that second screw out at the bottom right there. Then there's two screws over here. I'm gonna unscrew those. When I take that out, I'm a, after I take that out, I got the I got to install this before I can hook the radio up because this goes to the back plug in there. So you're after, so you can hook the aftermarket up. You have to have one of these. You can't just buy a CD player and think you're gonna hook it up. You have to buy one of these. You have to find the one with your car model and the year and stuff on there. And you also have to find the. Uh, stereo install kit but when you click on them see this one says general motors 1982 to 85 and you look on the back you find your car your year with your car on there you find that they have different different ones at the store you have to find and match your model of your car the, the make and model of your car and stuff so this is the first part of the video i'm gonna get ready and take these screws out then i'm gonna get ready and hook this up Plug this in the back. This piece is for the antenna. This go to the back of the CD, the receiver for your stereo. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna skip through this unscrewing this part right here. I'm gonna skip through it, but you should know one. You should know how to hook up your own radio. We finna do that right now. Okay, as you can see, I took the screws out. I got the screws right here took the screws out now I can go ahead and pull this whole thing out and pull this whole thing out and start unplugging everything I'm gonna go ahead and turn this radio off turn that off we don't want to get no power sometimes I unhook the battery under the hood I just unhook the battery but I ain't gonna do that to this one but I'm finna unplug this the radio cord this cord right here this the radio cord to the antenna. This is the receiver cord right here that you want for your CD player. So I'm gonna unplug all this shit. And we gonna get to it. I'm gonna hook up the rest of it. Hook up the rest of the stuff. Right here. Oh, I went to Firehouse Sub. I need a sub for Firehouse. My first time going to Firehouse. Yeah, let me get this out. Then I'm gonna hook up the rest. All right. I done opened the stereo connector, which is here with all the wires, the color coded wires for your speakers, your ground, your power, and all that, your your speakers and stuff. This is the import. Where I'm gonna plug all these up. All these gonna get plugged up in here. This is the radio adapter. I'm gonna plug it up to this, because that goes to the radio. That goes inside here. That plugs up in there. These plugs right here, plug up to here. Then I gotta match all the colors up to the CD player in the back of the deck. So I'm gonna plug these in. I'm gonna plug that in. This radio piece right here goes in here. Plug that in there. Hook all that up. Then we get to the deck in a second here. Here we go. Set the camera right there so y'all can see me plug it in. I'm gonna plug this in. Goes in this way. I'll put it in the bottom. This plug goes in the bottom here. You'll hear it click. Well, not 
not so much but yeah it went in there and you got these two extra clips big one goes on that side don't go down in there trick maybe okay that was supposed to come out and that goes down in there a little blue one Blue one, clip in right there. All set. Here go the antenna cord. Plug it in there just like that. So I got the aftermarket hooked up to the regular, to the factory. I got the aftermarket antenna right here hooked up to the factory antenna. Now I can get the fucking CD player, open the CD player up. I should have opened this first. This bracket here. I should have opened this bracket here. The stereo kit. But I'm going to open the CD player so I can match all these color coats up. That's probably going to take me the longest putting these color coats together. So let me get to that. Back of here. The radio plug over there. All the wires. I got to match all the wires up over there. And the ground wire and shit. Gotta match all those up. Go ahead and plug that in. That radio. And I'll put the antenna together. I'll the antenna cord in here. And it was flush. Now I gotta match all these wires up. Okay, hold it. Match all these wires up. Indeed. I have to put some electric tape and shit on there. Had to put a CD in there to see if it's working. That boy working. Got all the wires hooked up, all the colors hooked up. You match all the colors. You match all the colors up to each other. Coming out the back into that. Then I just gotta put the dash back. Put the dash right here. I just gotta put the dash back. Yeah, that's how you put your own CD player in, man. They're going to charge you $100, $90, $100 at ABC Warehouse. Audio Dash, they're going to charge $100. You should know. Just hook it up yourself. Here go the video for you. Y'all hear it? I already faded all the speakers. All the speakers clean. Throw it out the ground. Throw it out the ground. Fire So I got the, got the dashboard back in. Got the dashboard back hooked in, everything hooked up, dashboard all back together. All the way across to the other side over there. It's kind of sunny out. Got the dashboard back in, you can see that. Got the microphone right there, Bluetooth. That's where I ran my microphone. I got my wires right there, I'm gonna rerun it later. Gotta get ready and go to work, but. CD player working. CD player working. That's how you hook up your own CD player, man. You should know one brand new CD player hooked up. Brand new out the box. Brand new out the box. Remote and all. Now you need some electric tape. In this video, this video right here, is some electric tape. And a, a lighter is all you need. So you should know one. Hook up your own stereo next time. I'm out, y'all. I got to get ready and go to work. Let me know what y'all think about the video, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe. You can dislike if you want to. You can dislike if you want to. Huh? Hold on.